All right, I'm gonna show you how to get those first couple plugs in. So just take a dabber or a screwdriver, loosen this guy up. You'll see that there are labels behind both of these wires. The top one is DC plus, the bottom one is 24 volt minus. I like to do one at a time just to make sure I get it right. And then all I'm gonna do is come over here, get my HashiLink cable, and you'll see this one is labeled with DC plus. All I'm going to do is take out this first cable, brown one, plug it in over here. It's just going into the top half here. Snap it down and you're good to go. Now I'm just gonna take that same end from the DC plus cable and plug it in from where I just unplugged that other guy. Just coming in here, screwing it down. Same thing with this bottom one now. I'm gonna just remove that. This one is the 24 volt minus. So I'll come over here, get my 24 volt minus cable from the HashiLink. This one's gonna go here again, just right into that open slot on the left side. Plug it in, clamp it down. The 24 volt minus is gonna get plugged in there as well. Again, you wanna make sure you get it nice and snug. I'm gonna leave that there and just check yourself. The brown wires should be going in with the red DC plus and the blue wires should be going with that black 24 volt minus. So you're good to go on that top part now. Now we're gonna move down to the bottom half, install a couple more wires. I'm gonna start by taking this one labeled ground and that's gonna get plugged into this ground one over here. And then same thing, just tightening it down. Now I'm gonna get the wire that says B plus. You can see that guy right here, B plus. Just taking that and plugging that into the one that says B plus. Okay, and then time for the last one. This is gonna be your A plus. And that's just going here all the way to the left, same thing. And now you're good to go. Now that you have everything plugged in up here and down below, I like to find a nice little resting place for the HashiLink and just stash it right there. And now you can button your freeze dryer up again and you're good to go.